Do you want to play some trivia before we invite the f- fans to ask their questions? Okay. Okay. <laughs> so <laughs> I've sent Paul three questions for him to ask me. And uh, he's got uh, three questions on my side that I'm going to ask him. So let me know when you've got those pulled up. Am I going to ask you first? Whatever you want to do. Uh, how about I ask you first? Because you're probably, well. Or we can go back and forth. Okay, let's go back and give forth. Give me your, your easy question. I'll give you the easy question. Okay. Um, I'll be honest with you, none of them are easy for me. I'd say that right now. <laughs> okay. I don't know. Some days I do good and some days I suck at this. So it's going to be well, interesting you know, I don't to know. see. You know, I, I got a feeling well, someone who has a giant race behind him is going to do better than me. <laughs> you know, so. Okay. The, this is apparently the easy question. Okay. In Hide and Seek, Atlantis Season 1, Episode 3, um, was Jinto in that episode, I believe? He was, and Wex. Yeah. And yeah. you know what's funny about him? Um, uh, we had this little thing, uh, just a segue for us. Yeah. In his name uh, was Jinto. It was Christopher Heyerdahl's son, right? Jinto. His yes. Name was. And, and David and I, he'll, we, we do this thing, and then we, everybody started doing it, and we'd be like, Jinto. And was like, where's Jinto? Where's Jinto? Jinto, come. And, and the kid who, that was playing it, well, he'd run over, right, really quickly. And we're like, Jinto. And it was, became this thing. We started doing it all of the time. It was very <laughs> If he was on set. <laughs> yeah, on set. Yeah, he was like, what's going on here? Anyway, here's my question for you, my friend. The easy question is, okay, Hide and Seek, episode three, season one. What horror movie story did John promise to tell the Athosians kids? He pulls out his bloody knife. I mean, is that is that Halloween? It's it's um it's Mike Myers, right? I think you're on the right. Uh, no, no, no. Pulls out his bloody knife, and he's got a ski mask. Isn't that how? That's not Halloween. It's not Halloween. Um, oh. the, what, the answer I'm seeing here is well, there's a hint. This is not the only time this particular horror movie is mentioned on Atlantis. Mentioned in the fourth season episode, Doppelganger. Yeah. Shepard compared himself to the central character in the film question. So it's after not Mike learning Myers? That he, no. Okay. Uh, learning that he has been the antagonist in several people's bad dreams. Freddy Krueger? And the movie? Um, Nightmare on Elm Street. Bingo. <laughs> yeah, but he, talks, he references a hockey mask. Freddy Krueger doesn't have a hockey mask. I know, but the answer I'm seeing in the question is a nightmare in Elm Street. But I think I know I know you're talking about because he does have a hockey mask, right? Right. Because Jinto asks, "What's a hockey mask?" Hmm. So it's, it should have been Halloween, not a nightmare in Elm Street. I think. Yeah, I'm going to have to check with my trivia person because I, I think there's think a glitch in the do. matrix. This is not the we first do, time this has happened, the, uh, but it, it's making it interesting. Right. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Hey, yeah. Ask me something easy. <laughs> easy. In Sunday. What was Beckett trying to get people to do with him on his day off? Come on. Dude. Um, go for a pint of Guinness. Um, <laughs> go fishing. There you go. You, you wanted the easy one. That's the easy one for you. They get, they get progressively harder. Okay. My <laughs> medium question for you. Okay. From the episode's uh, Childhood End, Atlanta season one, episode six. Yeah. What age did the children commit suicide? 25 it's either 24 or 25 i think it's 25 you got it 25 is it 25 yep. okay that's the medium 25. question okay that's the medium question good for you interesting the medium question for you sir in the flashback scene in torment of tantalus what is Catherine langford hoping ernest littlefield will discuss with her father marriage Yes, that's oh, right. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I mean, it took a minute. <laughs> oh God, that's funny. Yeah, we're sitting by the fireplace, I believe. That's yes, scene. exactly. And they were talking about alternating and direct current mm-hmm. for the Stargate. Okay, okay, you got your hard one here. Yeah, this is crazy. If you get this, I mean, wow. Okay, what was the name of the high priestess from the episode Sanctuary? Atlanta season one, episode 14. Uh, Chaya Sar? Yeah. <laughs> Boom. <laughs> nice work. I don't know what her, what her like ancient, she had another name like as an ancient. I don't know what that was, but I remember Chaya Sar. So that's crazy. Good for Interesting. you. Interesting. Thank you. Yeah. All right. Let's get on, you know, um, Stargate Jeopardy. 
Right. <laughs> right. Now, I, I mean, we're a few more games are in development for the show, but we're going to, I mean, we got to get our feet wet. All right. Your hard question, Mr. McGillian. In Letters from Pegasus, it is revealed okay. Beckett gave his mother ointment for oh. what? Fungus on our toenails. That's right. <laughs> wow. Wow. Boom. That's specific. Good for you. Well, I just remember because it was such a funny, um, that was a very funny scene, you know? Hey, hey, fungus on your toenails, for God's sakes, you know? And it was such a funny thing um, to have. And I had that scene on my demo reel for a little while because of that, that, you know, I'm not doing it, you know, I, I just love that scene. You know, it was really Absolutely. Oh, it's, it's, it's fantastic. fantastic. And Rainbow on. is in that scene too. Yeah, Rainbow's filming me. Yes, and I love, I love that. Uh, and his reaction is amazing. He's super talented. He, he just watch me. Like, what the hell are you talking about? <laughs> Absolutely. Who submitted those questions to us, uh, Paul? Does it say in that sheet there? Um, who who uh, came up? A fan came up with those questions. I want to give them. Oh, credit. really? Okay, let's give them credit because they were very good, especially his um, trivia questions submitted by Max Becco. Thank you, Max. Appreciate you. Yeah, thank you, Max. Very Absolutely. good. I answered three of them. I can't believe it. I we did better than I thought we would. So yours are harder than mine, I think. <laughs> well, I well then I will I will improve my game next time, sir. Would you have gotten the fungus on the toenails? Would you have gotten that? No, I wouldn't have. Oh. Because I wow. I had I had to look it up and see what it was. Oh, wow. I remember that it grossed forward out, and yeah. I. I it was an ointment for something is all I remember. And I was like, yes, what was yeah, that for? And I had to look it up. So, yeah, And I Good love that you. episode because it, you got little pieces of everybody in it, you know, and showed a little bit of, uh, you know, the, the humanity behind them, you know, each it's character. A, and I, it is I a clip that. show, but it's it's a brilliant episode at the same time. Yeah. So, um, so I'm going to turn them over to the fans. At a few months, Great. I'd love to have you back to start talking about like Poisoning in the Well and a lot of these other episodes, sure, these course. ethical Keep dilemmas. Time. So. I appreciate you. Um, so, Darian West, question for Paul. Which Stargate... I, I, I kind of asked this, but I'll, I'll, ask, I'll let him ask. Uh, what Stargate actors did you have the most fun working with and why? Well, I mentioned, you know, I mentioned, uh, you know, all of them in, in, in different ways. You know, we, we, we would tease, like, uh, we all tease uh, Rachel a lot, and she has such a good sense of humor, so we love working with Rachel. And... Um, you know, and David and I had such a great chemistry, so it was really fun to work with him. You know, I also look forward to our scenes. And also because we just challenge each other, too, as actors, you know, and it was very, very challenging. Um, and, you know, um, like like I said, all of them had their own little special moments, and and it was always fun. You know, there's a couple of, scene, a couple of things in particular. I remember um, working with Joe in the episode... Uh, oh, Lucius is in there. Uh, you Irresistible. Know, what, what, Irresistible. Or irresponsible, right. yeah. Yeah, I think it's, the, it's first the first one. one it's remember. irresistible. I love that episode. Yeah, and so I was crying in the pedal jumper a little bit because it I missed Lucius. Me. And so in the in the episode, um, when we're shooting it, there's a really funny scene in the pedal jumper. And he kind of punches me right, and he goes, "Buck up, Carson!" You know, punches me. I'm like, "Ow!" You know, but what happened? It kept on going, and so I was like, I told "Joe, I'm like, I said." Oh. My, my nose is running. Do you mind? What do you mind? And and I made Shepard take a, a tissue and blow my nose, you know? And I was like, mm, and I did it. It was really funny. But they cut it out because the episode was running long. Uh. It was funny. And it was, to me, that was hilarious. Thanks for watching this clip from Dial the Gate. You can find the full live stream shows on our YouTube channel or visit dialthegate.com for the complete schedule. See you on the other side.